Welcome back everybody to VVR. Today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite fountain pens of all time, the Twisby Eco. This pen has just been the greatest to work with and I'm going to show you how to disassemble it, um, all the ins and outs of how to operate this pen, and yeah, let's get into it. So this is the box that it comes with. Um, here is the original price, $30.99 is what I paid for it when I bought it uh, about like a couple years ago. Um, this is my local art shop, wet paint, um, down here where I live. And yeah, I was looking for an alternative between the Safari Lamy uh, fountain pen, which is a great fountain pen, but I, I found this one after struggling for a bit and this has been my all time favorite. So when you open the box here, it comes in this little silicon, I guess. Uh, box on the back of the box it has all the parts labeled from 1 through 10 So if you ever have any question of like how to put this all together or how does this all work all the parts are down here and um, I mean once you start to understand these things it has the uh, English writing here on the right side of this um, You know you'll you'll just know that you have all the parts there, but it's pretty straightforward um, except for uh, assembling one piece of the unit, which I'll get into here in a second. But when you open the box, you know, you have your instructions here that tell you how to um, actually operate the pen and, you know, get it so that you can actually get the ink inside the reservoir there. And it comes with a little bit of silicon grease, it comes with a wrench, and then the pen itself. I'm going to disassemble the pen for you so that you can do your own maintenance and cleaning uh, whenever you require. So putting all that aside, we're just going to need the pen itself and this little wrench here. Um, for this pen, it's really, really straightforward how you disassemble it. Obviously, um, I've already used this pen before, it just has a couple stickers that I put on here, but uh, I already cleaned it and I left it to dry and I put it all back together just so I can show you guys how to disassemble it. And in a second later, I'm going to show you guys how to actually fill it with ink. So for right now, if we're going to pretend like this is your brand new pen, I just kind of take this apart, or in case you wanted to clean it right before you use it, you don't have to, but just so you know how this all works. These two parts obviously come together and it has a little bit of a, you know, uh, lip or edge that you can connect the, the nib to on the feed. And those go on the pen really, really straightforward. But the main thing I wanted to talk about was actually this. The end cap and how the end cap connects to uh, the piston into the reservoir here. So, I don't know if you guys can see it, but in between here is a little gap so that the um, the wrench can go through and I'm going to show you how to disassemble this whole thing Put it all back together for cleaning obviously whenever you decide to clean your pen But this is it. This is everything that the pen comes with the hardest part is actually putting all of this stuff back together Just this part here the end cap and the piston so I've spent a lot of time trying to figure out what the best way to put this all back together and I actually found a very very simple method for you guys to follow. So if you actually look at this uh, little piece here that connects um, this little turn piece and then this um, the piston here. So if you're like me you're wondering how the heck can I get the piston to go all the way through the reservoir and all the way back to retract so that you can get as much ink as possible into your reservoir here and I actually found the trick for it. So uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put just these two pieces together and they're really straightforward. You're gonna notice that one side has the piece or like a little slot so that this can go through the piston and one slot has a bigger hole. It's really straightforward for that part. And this, all that this does is that it allows the end cap to screw in or unscrew. So you're gonna tighten this guy all the way through and then you're gonna unscrew it until you can start to see the grooves uh, where the uh, the wrench would go. It's really hard to see on my camera, honestly, but that's that'll be you know it's a slight gap that's there, and that's just for that to go in there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in here, um, this little end piece, and now we're gonna just what I do is I here for the for the clicks we're gonna unscrew it still. So one, two. Three, and all it's doing is that the piston is just hitting against the mechanism here in the in the middle because it's you know what you're not screwing it in you're kind of pushing it out a little bit and that's what the click is for um, that's what it's doing there so just kind of do that for about three to four times and then as you screw it in you'll notice oh, I actually got it like on the first try that you can actually go all the way through failure to do it this way if you were to do it any other way <laughs> 
and it'll actually kind of end up like this where maybe you have too much of the end cap out and you're trying to screw it in you'll notice that your end cap will not screw all the way through um, all the way to the to the end here but the piston will I like to make sure that it's lined up perfectly and then here's the other way that if you try um, to kind of if you screw your end cap all the way through and now you try to um, screw in your piston you won't have any any room for it so it needs to be the reason why we unscrew the cap and then put this in is that it'll allow it to go all the way through and take it up um, so just trust me as you do this just unscrew the cap a little bit till you see the grooves of the where the wrench would be, uh, would go uh, we're gonna put the end um, the piston in there do a couple clicks two three maybe four test it out and voila we're good and then repeat this as many times as possible until you're satisfied with um, the enclosure or like how much gap there is from the um, from the end cap to this little middle mechanism piece it's up to you for how close you need it to be but the main thing is that once you have this on there now you get to go you can actually slide that all the way through uh, in the um, the reservoir here and then you can use the wrench you'll have to unscrew a little bit of the end cap here actually first push that all the way through use the wrench to go inside here and then you can begin to twist I just twist the um, the reservoir and I'm twisting it the wrong way um, I guess you're twisting this clockwise because it's a uh, the way that this one twists it's a little different so you're gonna twist it clockwise Oops. Yep. And this is actually a safety mechanism here where the wrench will not go any further than this. And even if you try it, it'll just kind of slide off. But yeah, so now you have it so that you can, um, you know, you can twist your end cap and the, the piston will go all the way to the back. You can push it all the way forward and it will not fall off. That was my biggest problem as I was trying to twist um, the piston all the way forward my end cap just kept falling off which was very annoying because <laughs> I just wanted to do this basic function so that's my trick for getting the piston inside the reservoir with the end cap uh, on there so it doesn't fall off but there you go now that's all set if you try to put ink in here as kind of like this uh, even with the nib and the feet in there um, all the ink will just kind of go out even if you wanted to take out the um, this little part here the piston the end cap this whole end unit the ink will just kind of slide through it and actually we need to get rid of all the air for it to suck up all the air in here and the last part here is that we need to put in the feed and the nib in here so all we do is just we kind of line them up to the grooves and there's really no trick to this you're just gonna um, line it you know uh, put it in and it'll automatically line up with the hole that's inside and then you just kind of push down the nib be very careful with it obviously so that you don't uh, bend the nib yeah, I just kind of try to grab it from the sides here and just kind of pull it down or pull it up for whatever. But anyway, that's how we get all of this uh, back together here. So like I said, we need to get rid of all of this air. Uh, when we put our ink in here, we're just going to dip our nib into the uh, ink well and just kind of push the air out and drag as much ink as possible. So I use Carbon Ink by Platinum. This is the greatest ink that I have found that I can use in all of my pens. Uh, my technical pens and uh, my fountain pens and even my brushes here. And I know that I won't have a headache with it clogging or with it, you know, like messing up my pens. I know that they're going to be safe. This ink is just, to me, the superior ink when trying to find the darkest darks, the blackest blacks. This ink is just incredible. Um, I highly recommend you use this ink, and if you're still unsure if this is for you or not, I'll leave the link in the description. The other inks that you can use obviously are from like, um, you know, the Safari, uh, the Lamy inks, uh, I forget what they're called, but there's some other inks that are much more designed, much more water soluble uh, for fountain pens, but this is to me the one where I can use it, it will dry up just fine, and they're fantastic. It's just a great ink. So anyway, how we go about refilling this? We're going to obviously unscrew the cap, and I kind of give it a little bit of shakes too, um, as we do this. And one thing I forgot to mention is that fountain pen does come with a little bit of grease here, silicon grease that you can actually, when you before you put the piston inside that, you can actually use this with a cotton swab and just kind of go around the piston and then reinsert the whole thing. Less friction inside the reservoir here. Um, I generally don't use it. Anyway, so yeah, we're just going to put the nib all the way in, and we're just going to do one last check that everything's good. 
um, we're gonna put the ink or the nib all the way inside and if we see here I pull it out it's actually not I've already used up a lot of this ink so it's not gonna go all the way through so I kind of have to tilt the ink bottle a little bit and it's always good to have a napkin next to you I always have this rag next to me here just in case anything does happen but we're just gonna play a little bit of a game of a uh, suction so we're going to unscrew it make sure that the piston goes all the way to the bottom and then try to pull the ink up and sometimes if we're lucky it'll happen on the first try but uh, usually doesn't so I got a little bit but I want to get some more so now I'm gonna just do it again repeat the process we're gonna try to get all the ink out of or sorry all the air out of the reservoir and then I feel like this is a pretty good strong yep got it here this time so after two tries I was able to get that going just got my finger just a little bit dirty and there we go um, I just have my rag here where I can just basically clean my pen and just like that I have filled my Twisby and in seconds it is ready to write and uh, the reason why I love this pen guys is that it just it glides it's so much fun to use it's such a great feel I highly recommend you guys get your hands on one of these Twisbees because they're they're just superior and I'm pretty sure the Lamy Safaris are also that quality too but I just haven't found one that writes like this that glides that has this ink flow and this pressure you know that I can just express with it this to me is just a superior pen to it so in any case there's that and I hope you guys found this video insightful but yes anything that I find useful in my in my own you know art world uh, I'll try to make a video for it and I'll try to answer as many questions as possible to kind of guide you guys in the right path of like oh this is what works this is what doesn't work yada 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 uh, if you guys found any of this helpful by all means give it a like I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of September I know it's a long task that's a lot to ask for but anything helps honestly anyway thank you guys for watching if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and yes we'll see you around on the next one thank you so much Bye-bye.